Welcome back to Talk to Me, and we are in the Juno block mm. today. And our next guest uh, is the nominee from the Best Reggae Recording uh, category of the Junos. And on our first Talk to Me, Jay Cartier, new hello, kid on hello, the block. Hello. Welcome new to Talk to Me. <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 Jay, yes. you are in a crew with a four-time winner, yes, um, two-time winner, yes, three-time <laughs> nominee, and yes. Dumbmatix. Dumbmatix was nominated what seven, seven times, seven times. Yeah. and one with. How do you feel to just well. drop in on this category <laughs> so much? I, I feel honored, actually. I feel mm. honored now. I'm amongst. Canada's great to say, you know, the people that are recognized for what they're doing. So now I'm being recognized for what I'm doing in music. So yeah, mm -hmm. well, welcome Appreciate aboard. It. Thank mm -hmm. you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> My man, it's yes. uh, thanks for being here. And you know, I remember when uh, Mike Dangerous from Montreal won. A lot of us didn't know who he was. And exactly. If you're not within the epicenter in Toronto in a certain crowd, we, we might not know who you are. Who are exactly. you, man? I'm Jay Cartier. What's your style? <laughs> <laughs> well, how, how, how do you explain yourself to the folks well, out there who might be seeing you for the first time? I don't want to say a style. I love music, so I do a lot of different style of music. You I do country? Exactly. Oh, I could do some country right now. I do a lot of different style of music. So I dabble with everything. Anything I feel, I just usually put it out there. So I do a little bit of dance on what my comfort is. Love is rock. So I smell mm -hmm. a lot more. Love is rock. Nice. And, yeah, a little bit of r and B. I I do a little bit of everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The ladies and the gentlemen like it. <laughs> the ladies and the gentlemen like it. <laughs> we'll keep it. Yeah. So a few artists who have been, you know, prominent in the city have sometimes mentioned that it's kind of hard to be recognized in the city until you're successful. How do you feel about that? Um, somewhat true. It is hard to be recognized in the city. They like, th I think they like stuff coming imported. They like mm -hmm. to bring stuff back. Mm -hmm. So even if you're yeah. here, it's good to go out and come back in mm -hmm. and they, they say, oh, but I'm like, I was always here. But I'm trying to do mine from here. So I'm trying to get recognized from here. So it's, and it's, it's starting to build. So, mm -hmm. yes. Your, your song, Who Feels It Knows It, that's actually yeah. nominated. Who Feels It Knows. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> tell you what my struggle is, right? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 So tell us a little bit about this song. Uh, I mean, the, the title, is it's pretty deep in itself. <laughs> deep. Who Feels It Knows, knows. It, and that, that speaks a lot for life. But exactly. talk to us about the track. Well, that song was really inspired by actual events, in a sense, when I came home and on my door, I saw a water notice and I'm like damn I just paid my light bill not to pay my water so I'm like yo where's this money coming from so yeah. I just start sitting I'm like yo I get and it just came to me at the same time I had a I had a, a beat and it just came to me and I'd start writing to it I wrote the song within like an hour and I'm like yo I call my producer and say I'm coming to voice they say can't come today come tomorrow and I was there for like 11 o'clock in the morning ready to voice finish up and I'm like who am I gonna put on this song mm, truthfully the first person I'm like I wonder if Amoy would do some backup for me. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, and I, I hit up Amoy and she's like, I'm kind of busy with my album right now, but I know someone who would, would love to be on it. And lo and behold, that person made it into a masterpiece for me. So mm -hmm. yes. I appreciate Big up yourself, Tash. <laughs> not forgetting. <laughs> <laughs> right. Jay, Jay Cartier, I yes. Let me ask you a serious question, man. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, I'm not sure you, you're familiar with one of the guys in the, uh, the hip hop category is a dude named Jazz, Jazz Cartier. Cartier. Exactly. You ever thought of doing a, a, a combination with him? And it'd be Jazz, Jay Cartier featuring Jay Cartier. <laughs> Jazz Cartier. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, well, I when have. But and, <laughs> and I guess being out now in. in in the music industry, you start getting familiar with p other people, so it's kind of close that I knew someone that knows him or a mm -hmm. part of his management team, and they called me down. He was doing a show, I think at some university, I think York or one of those universities, and they called me down to come to the show, but I was doing prior engagement, so I couldn't make it out, but mm -hmm. we're supposed to meet. <laughs> so um, what do you see, and we've been asking this question of all our um, guests on Talk To Me, mm -hmm. where do you see yourself going over the next 12 months? Next 12 months, well, just building my brand, actually. Just building my brand, putting up more music out there for people to to know what I'm about. Um, just being more visual for people because I have been lacking on a lot of social media sites. It's like, you know, chill, I'll do it now, I'll do mm -hmm. it then, and then I'll miss, like, sometime I go and I'm take a picture, say I'm here or not. But I'm trying to be more involved in what I'm doing right now so people know that I'm here and I'm taking it serious. Yeah. Yes. And truth be told, man, when you found out, I mean, you went through the nomination process yes. not knowing who was going to be there exactly. and if you're going to make it. 
Tell us truthfully, man, what, what, what was the emotion when you finally found out that, um, man, my name is up there <laughs> in lights? Yeah. Like, like I was telling the guys when I was talking outside, it, the feeling didn't really start hitting me until today. Like, I was there, I'm like, all right, yeah, this is a mistake, but I'm there, and it's like, <laughs> <laughs> right? But today, like, it started getting feeling like, I was speaking to my cousin, he's like, dude, you know you've been trying for so long, and the struggles, and he's starting to start getting emotional about it. I'm like, mm -hmm. yeah, it's really coming together. It's coming together. Mm -hmm. and. I appreciate everything I've learned over the year, and I appreciate everything that's in front of me right now. So, we want to thank you for being with us. Thank and you, we're thank you, thank go you. Go out with your video. All right. Who feels uh, it, knows it, on Talk to Me. Thanks, Jay. Thank you very much for having me. Make for me in find the eviction sign. Them say them can't wait no more. We need to pay my bills on time. They let the change in my pocket. All right, welcome back. Talk to me. Uh, I, I want to say listeners, but it's it's watchers, watchers. right? You're viewers. listening and viewers. Of course, viewers. thank you, Katie. <laughs> and of course, this is the gossip time. On Talk to me, we talk about people's <laughs> business. We discuss issues, and we're going right over to the gossip girl. Katie, yes, what you got? We are. Let's talk about the Grammys off the top. So Adele was a big winner. She was. She, was. she mm -hmm. came in with five. Mm -hmm. She won five. But here was a key thing that happened over the Grammys. Mm -hmm. She actually was paying tribute to George Michael, yep. and she started off with a little bit of a stumble, mm -hmm. and she and swore. Dropped an F bomb. She dropped an F bomb and, yeah. Yeah. and requested to start all the way over. Mm -hmm. And yeah. everyone is saying, you know what? Only Adele could do this. Yeah. No one else could get away with this. Yeah. She, you know, she does that, though. I've seen her in concerts mm -hmm. where yeah. she's had, you know, the Mariah Carey whole episode with her? Yes. Well, Adele's had the same sort of thing happen. Her sound all goes. Yeah. And she just continues the show must singing go on. Through, throughout. So, yeah. Yeah. You yeah. know? Yeah. 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 What well, yeah. was nice, though. I'm not an Adele fan, so oh. I'm just Okay, so then I'm going to, what about what happened? She, she can beat out Beyonce for the record and album. I was so going to say. I'm a, I'm she's a, not I'm a, an Adele person, so I'm I want to hear from her. I, I'm, a, I'm a beer. I like Beyonce. I'll beehive. go on the record. You're from the uh, I'm from the Beehive. I like Beyonce. Mm -hmm. And okay, so now that we're talking Beyonce, what did you think about that look? The the what is it? What she carrying? Twins. 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 You know what? I thought that was kind of elegant. Yes. I thought that was, was kind beautiful. of well put together, well crafted. Mm -hmm. Way to go. Big. She was beautiful, but, was but beautiful. to Adele, you know, she did back to She did really <laughs> overthink Beyonce. She said the first mm -hmm. song she ever really wanted to sing was No, 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 No by Destiny's yeah. Child, which is right. a Beyonce song, and she really did thank Beyonce. So and I thought that was too, nice. Of course, too, that uh, she said that Beyonce should have won that Lemonade mm -hmm. was yes. the yeah. groundbreaking yeah. album. And I guess, yeah. as I was hearing somebody say today, it's, uh, is that even though Beyonce's album Lemonade was so groundbreaking, Adele sold. A load summer albums, yes. so yeah. that the industry is caught between uh, acknowledging something that's actually excellent and culturally significant versus the one that sells. And, yeah, and, right. mm -hmm. uh, which brings me to the reggae category, Revolution, one, one of the top groups that nominated for uh, the reggae category mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. I was surprised to hear that they only sold 38,000 records. Yeah. yeah, well, yeah. the sales in the cate that category of the music, and, and generally all music categories has been Down. decreasing sig Down. Mm -hmm. significantly over the last mm -hmm. number of years because people now have the capacity to see these artists on an ongoing basis through social media right. mm -hmm. and other, and, and other uh, yeah. But, but you know, you went to the reggae category, so another Marley win, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, oh, he nice. did. Wow. Wow. That wow. is a biggie. Oh, what? that's a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, no surprises there. We knew he was performing on the pre-telecast version of the Grammys. Yep. Yes. Um, so him performing this time sort of said right away that mm -hmm. he was winning. Even if you had that little bit of doubt that, hey, maybe Raging Fire, <laughs> for yeah. example. And, 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 and there was wins. another Marley in the performance zone. Skip on Marley. Marley. Yes. Yes. So yes. performed yes. with... Uh, Katy Perry, Katie Perry yes. yes, which was nice to see. But let me let me just jump in here and talk in, about in someone the, in the in the uh, sixty seconds we've got. Katie. Yes, <laughs> I'm going to talk about someone who didn't show up to the Grammys, who oh. was Drake, uh -huh. and he's been making headlines lately because him <laughs> and J Lo have had a little fling, and it is now over. A lot of people have been saying that it was. Did Pretty it even much start? <laughs> 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 I thought it was a video. I a thought it was about a, a video. A publicity I stunt. Mm -hmm. And you know what? 
uh, J Lo has been skirting around the whole thing, and she finally said, "Well, you know, we're making a song together." And mm -hmm. there you have it. Here, Absolutely. so here it is again, Drake. But before we do any more gossip, I want to tell you that Knight's Table is hosting a fundraiser on June 9th. It's their fifth annual fund fundraiser, and it's going to be held at the Pearson Convention Center. We will have a representative in before that event to talk to me about the work of Knights and more about the tribute to the disco era. Mm -hmm. But in the last 20 seconds that we have, <laughs> talk to me. We did good on our first show, <laughs> did we? <laughs> <not? Yeah. laughs> and we want to talk Rogers, thank Rogers TV mm -hmm. for this opportunity and stay tuned to us. We will be back here on this channel with Talk To Me. Call your friends Talk and tell me. them you saw us <laughs> and you loved us. I'm Denise Jones. I'm Sweet Tea. I'm Kayla Thompson. And I'm Clifton Joseph. And wow. we're saying ta-ta from Adios. Talk To Me. <laughs>